The plane behind me is officially known as the C-23, but its nickname derives from the Himalayans that carried heavy cargo up into the mountains, hence the name Sherpa. The first thing one notices about the Sherpa is that it's not very big. It carries about a dozen passengers and several pallets of cargo. Plus, Sherpas have a, well, a unique look. But looks can be deceiving. The C-23 is able to leave the ground quickly and fly at low altitudes. For one Sherpa pilot from the 126th Aviation in Balad, Iraq, that's just fine. Actually, we enjoy it. It's kind of thrilling. It keeps us on our toes. Uh, keep, it's actually uh, for safety. It keeps us out of a uh, threat. The civilian version of the C-23 or Sherpa, initially designed by an aerospace company in Ireland, operated as a commuter plane by various airlines during the 1980s and 90s. It was modified for the U.S. Army. Of course, service members have their own reasons for flying. Because I'm going home from El Asad to Balad to go on leave and my mission changed. I'm going to Balad to uh, re-enlist for six more years, trying to get this bonus money. Transporting soldiers throughout the region safely is a point that pilots like Chief Warrant Officer Sawyer are well aware of. The more we fly, the less convoys have to be on the road with our soldiers uh, driving into convoys. So we feel that everything that we can load up and take to, a, to all the other uh, forward operating bases is one less convoy that's going to be on the road. And this is just a snapshot of the key role of the C-23, which is, after all, the transport of both cargo and service members. I'm Stan